guys welcome back to my channel today I'll be showing you how I get this really pink and purple spring eye look with super dewy skin perfect for spring and summer if you want to see how I got this look please keep watching the first thing I do is I prep my skin with my favorite moisturizer in this case it's my Nivea body face cream whatever it's called moisturizer it's very inexpensive I got it from a local beauty supply store and after that, I fill in all of my fine lines with my Smashbox Primer Oil. So guys, that was me placing the Smashbox Primer Oil in all the areas that I get extra dry. And that will be under my eyes and around my mouth. Y'all know the deal. And then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. And then just fill in the lines around my mouth. Make those bad boys disappear. I think we should listen to Taylor Swift. We all think. I know a lot of people don't like her, but like, they don't care. You know what I mean? Don't care. Okay, so we're gonna move into foundation. The thing is with me and foundation, guys, is that I prefer a matte foundation. Now, I know for spring makeup, we're going for like dewy skin, but I prefer to create my dewy skin with my highlighters. the lightest layer possible with my foundation and it will mattify my skin. The foundation I'm using is Fit Me Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. It's my favorite drugstore makeup. And I just pump that all up into my skin to get that base and then I color correct. And then just blend it all into the skin. under my eye. I'm not going to put the concealer all the way up into my eye, just under it because I don't want too much product there. I don't want it to be cakey and I don't want it to crease too fast. So just right below. Blend out. with a mix of Ben Nye and Laura Mercier. Mostly because I like the consistency of the Laura Mercier powder. It's just very, it's very thin. But I like to have the yellow coloring of the banana powder. With a dry beauty blender, you just squish that all together. Make sure I have no creases under my under eye by removing them with my fingers. And pat that under there. I don't really bake anymore. I just find it time consuming and useless. So I put the powder on and I press it into the skin. And that's all. I don't even put like a, a ton of powder on either. I put the lightest amount possible because I don't. I, I love a cake face. I don't like to look like a, a cake face, you know? Tall and handsome as hell. Does it so well. If there are areas that I really do need to bake, it will be like under my contour and my nose. Only because I want those parts to be brighter. I'm really feeling this base, guys. This is looking nice. So I kind of just pat that into the areas that I want it to be. And then I move into my contour. Moving into my contour, I'm using Black Opal in the color Suede Mocha. This is a cream foundation stick. And I basically just apply that into my areas it looks very dark as you can see but what happens is my beauty blender still has on all my foundation all my concealers and when I blend it out with that it blends seamlessly into my skin a trick when I'm contouring my nose is that I don't actually drag the entire stick down my nose I really go closely into the points of my nose I'll zoom in so you guys can see it what I do is I go right here right here bring it down to the point And that is all. And that just diffuses the color and makes it a lot less harsh, but still snatched AF. 
blending out this contour now. Same beauty blender. Moving upwards. Not down because you don't want to make down here muddy. You just want to push the product upwards into your face. Now for around my forehead, I push it back into my hairline and not downwards. I don't want to make this highlighted spot any smaller. I don't have a big forehead, so I don't need to make that area smaller. So I'm just going to push it back into the hairline. If you do have a smaller forehead, then you can drag it down a little bit more. Trouble when you walked in. Oh, oh, I'm trouble, I'm trouble, I'm trouble. If I think my contour is going too far in, I will take the booty part of the little beauty blender and just try to softly blend that and erase it. Because obviously this side of the beauty blender is clean because I haven't been using it. One of my Morphe M553 and my Matte Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm just going to go across the areas that I contoured. Bronze my skin. Give me a nice glow. Lightly go across the nose. Very softly. Blend it down towards the neck. Now you can leave it like that and just have a very bronze look. But I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit more definition with my contour. Blush kind of looks like this. It's a blush for darker skin types. I'm obviously not darker, so I'm going to use it as a contour. Pop it in those hollows. A little bit on your nose. Just a little. With the lightest touch possibly. Going right across here to the jawline. And again, with the same movement that we did with the beauty blender, push it upwards into the skin. And that blends it with your bronzer. I'm just going on with my baby hairs, guys. I'm going to put some on my chin because, you know, I do a lot of those double tints. So I need to like put extra contour there because I think I'm giving myself like a real life double chin in real life like from doing it so much. And now we're going to move on to brows. Okay, so I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Concealer in NC45 and a flat top brush. I'm just gonna go under the brow very lightly. I don't like a lot of concealer under my brow. And drag it downwards. And then I just blend out my finger. To really get the angle that I want, I just Without putting any more product on a brush, just rub the flat top along the corner. First thing I'm going to use is this Infallible Eyeshadow by L'Oreal. So taking the Rose Gold Infallible color, I'm just going to take a flat top brush and really just press that onto the lid. It gives it a very nice pinky foiled kind of look. I just, I, I really like it and this eye is super simple. That's it. Now we're going to go in with a burnt orange kind of color. This one is literally called Burnt Orange. It's by Anastasia by Beverly Hills. We're just going to take a big fluffy blending brush and place that in the crease. Now I think I want a bit more definition so I'm going to go in with more of a reddish brown. This time I'm going to be using Sienna by Anastasia by Beverly Hills. And I'm really just going to focus that on the outer corner and just blend it into the center very lightly. But I want most of that definition on the outer corner of the eye. As you can see I'm kind of like pouncing the brush into the outer corner and that's really to distribute all the color I want and then I'll just lightly blend it. Yep. I'll be using Goddess Lashes by Coco. Mm. 
Okay, to blend the lashes, I go in with my Studio Scout Super Black Lash and I just go on the bottom so I don't go throughout the lash because I don't want to destroy my lash. All the roses You can leave the look just like this, but I'm gonna add some purple onto my bottom lash for just some more color. And it's late and then mama don't know. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made and the color Deep Purple. I'm really gonna get a lot of that onto my brush because I want a lot of the color. I'm not gonna drag it all the way in because I'm gonna go back into the same infallible color and put that into the inner corner of my eye. Going back in with the infallible color. Now I'm gonna apply my bottom lash mascara, and this is gonna be the light kind of lashes from Tarte. Now going in with a mixture of my Tarte Tipsy and Eternal Color blushes, I'm just gonna create a very peachy, pink, flushed look because I'm springy. So I go in with the Tarte first. Guys, I love blush. Like, oh my god. I could not live without it, I swear to God. I swear to you, I could not live without it. I'm just going in with the pink blush on the apples of my cheeks, very lightly. Finish it off with my favorite highlighter. This is Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Wait a second. What if I use this infallible as a highlight instead? Give me a moment, guys. Now, this color is really kind of similar to what champagne pop looks like so maybe it's a dupe guys that would blow my mind oh my god okay let's see guys guys this is so nice listen all y'all that don't want to pay money for champagne pop this infallible this is for one of here this for me here i ain't gonna buy enough of these no shoot I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and dip it into the. Let's see how it works as like an actual like, face highlight. Because it is a pigment, it's like a loose pigment. Wait! Guys! Wanna, wanna see that? Don't say I never gave you anything. Don't say I never gave you anything, guys. Oh my god, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. For some reason, my camera didn't record me putting on my lip gloss, but this lip gloss is Tara by Anastasia by Beverly Hills. That's the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick spring toot on my full face and really nice pink purpley eye. It's very girly, very spring. Some gloss for the girls, love a gloss. And a surprise highlight dupe that we really needed because $38 for a highlighter is constantly breaking my bike and I can't do it no more. I'm still gonna do it. I'm lying to you all. But I'm glad that I found a dupe so that I can, you know, balance it out. You know what I mean? Alright, good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope to see some pictures of you trying it out. Let me know. Tag me in some pictures on Instagram. Send me some videos. You have my social media links. They've been going through the video constantly. Connect with me guys, I want to know, so I can write your name. See you later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Oh and share. Share she. Share she for the girls. Please. <laughs> bye bye.